Hi, this is Ron Sipsick. This is the second part of a four-part series on expenditure line analysis. In our first uh, segment, we took a look at how expenditure line data can be used to calculate both the slope of the expenditure line as well as the autonomous expenditures or the y-intercept of the expenditure line. In this particular segment, we want to talk about equilibrium GDP and equilibrium TPE as applied to expenditure line analysis. Before we do that, we need to uh, take a brief detour, and I want to uh, work through a brief math lesson with you. So here's the y-axis in simple algebra and the x-axis, and here's the 45-degree line. Now, the properties of a 45-degree line are many. One of the properties of a 45-degree line is it bisects uh, this space in half. Um, a Cartesian uh, algebraic system like the one we have here where we have a y-axis and an x-axis, the vertical axis and the horizontal axis are related as a right, right angle. So when you put a 45-degree angle in the space, you bisect or cut in half uh, a 90 degree angle or that space. Now when you're at a point on the 45 degree line, let me move that move that up a little bit. When you're at a point on the 45 degree line, the x variable, whatever it is, is equal to the y variable, whatever it is. Now I am assuming that we're measuring um, we're using the same measuring stick on each on each axis. So let's say that X is measuring dollars and Y is measuring dollars. So we're using the same measuring stick on both the vertical and horizontal axis. Well, if Y is 100, then X must be 100. So when you're using a 45 degree line, when you're moving along a 45 degree line, when you're talking about a 45 degree line, Y1 equals X1 100 equals 100. We can choose another point on the line. This is point 1. We we'll call this second point point 2. We can read down. Here we have x2. Say this is 125. And here we have y2. And y2 would have to be 125 as well. Notice that when we move along that 45 degree line from point 1 to point 2, y goes up by what? 25. x has to go up by 25. So when you move along a 45 degree line, the change in y has to equal the change in x. So yes, y2 equals x2. 125 equals 125. And we could say that y2 minus y1 equals x2 minus x1. And this is basically a measure of distance. The difference is a measure of distance. And this is a measure of distance. So if we take 125 minus 100, that equals 125 minus 100. 25 equals 25. Again, we're just exploring the properties of a 45 degree line. Now, if you go to a point above the 45 degree line, say that we uh, evaluate this point right here. Now this is a, I'm picking this point on purpose because it's an easy one for us to evaluate. Notice that point corresponds with y2, but corresponds with x1. So in this case, y is greater than x. 125 y2 is greater than 100 x1. And this will be true of any point above the 45 degree line. It doesn't matter where we're at in this space. Anywhere above the 45 degree line, the y variable will be greater than the corresponding x variable. And then we can just do the opposite side of this. We can say that if you're below the 45 degree line, say at this point, easy point for us to talk about, you're at x2, 125, you're corresponding with y1, 100. And so what can we say here? We can say the x variable, whatever it is, is greater than the y variable, whatever it is. x2 is greater than y1. Notice the slope of a 45-degree line has to be 1. 
the slope of a 45 degree line has to be 1 because the rise over the run, the rise is 25, the run is 25, so the slope must be equal to 1. Okay? Now that concludes our math lesson. The big idea is if you're above the 45 degree line, y is greater than x. If you're on the 45 degree line, y equals x. If you're anywhere below the 45 degree line, x is greater than y. Now let's go ahead and move down and we want to apply this uh, to our expenditure line and to expenditure line analysis. Now our y variable in expenditure line analysis is total planned expenditures. Our x variable in expenditure line of analysis is GDP. GDP. And if we impose a 45 degree line into this space, we'll just, my pen is acting a little weird today. I might be, huh, what's going on here? Huh, try that. Well, that's not working for some reason, but we're not going to let this stop us, so. Oh, I'm on the wrong. I see what the problem was. I was, there we go. We are fine. Back to our regular programming. So this is a 45 degree line. And if you're at any point on this 45 degree line, TPE equals GDP, which means the macro economy is in equilibrium. So the 45 degree line represents the case where GDP equals TPE and as we've discovered earlier in, in, our, in our studies, uh, not in these videos, but, but in your study of macroeconomics, you should have already come across the idea that if GDP equals TPE, the macroeconomy is in a state of balance. Now what we want to do is we want to impose over the 45 degree line an expenditure line. So I'll go to a color green here. And we know that the expenditure line has a positive y-intercept. We also know that its slope is less than 1. So we'll put that in. And this is C. Whoop. Let me. This is C plus I planned plus G plus X minus M. Now, a couple couple reminders. The expenditure line, uh, expenditure line has a positive y-intercept. The slope of the expenditure line, the slope of the expenditure line is less than 1. It has to be. Why? Because MPC is less than 1. Remember, MPC plus MPS equals 1. So marginal propensity to consume must be less than 1. In our uh, first segment of this series, we identified an MPC that was equal to 0.75. And that's what we'll actually use. And also in that first segment, we identified an A that is equal to 850. We actually found that A of 850. Now, notice this expenditure line has many, many, many points on it that are above the 45 degree line. Notice also that the expenditure line has many, many points on it that are actually below the 45 degree line. So many, 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 many points along this expenditure line are not equilibrium points. There's only one point where the expenditure line and the 45 degree line share the same point. And that's where they intersect, of course. So at this point right here, we have a point, we have a point of intersection, and we have total planned expenditures that are equal to GDP. And we could label this an equilibrium level. So this is the equilibrium level 
of GDP and TPE on this particular expenditure line. Notice that the uh, points out here are going to be cases where the X variable GDP is greater than the Y variable TPE. So if the point is below the 45 degree line, GDP is greater than TPE. And if we're at a point above the 45 degree line, just pick that one, the Y variable TPE has to be greater than the X variable GDP. So TPE is greater than GDP. So if we're at the point of intersection, GDP equals TPE. If we're below the 45 degree line, out here somewhere, GDP is greater than TPE. And if we're over here somewhere above the 45 degree line, TPE is greater than GDP. Now, the fun begins. We can actually calculate these amounts. If we have A, if we have A, and we have, if we have A, and we do, if we have A, and we have MPC, we can actually calculate equilibrium GDP and equilibrium TPE. Let's do it. So I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to do the calculations, and then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to actually put those numbers on our expenditure line. Okay, now, if we're in equilibrium, there's a condition that must be true. We've already established it. There's a condition that must be true. GDP must be equal to TPE. Well, if two things are equal to each other, we can give them the same name. Now, we're not saying they're the same. There can be sameness and equality, and there can be equality without sameness. These two variables are different. GDP is aggregate supply. TPE is aggregate demand. They are not the same. But are they equal in equilibrium? The answer is yes. So we're going to give them the name X. And you'll see why that's important in just a minute. The second premise we're going to work with is that TPE always equals MPC times GDP plus A. This is always true. This is true for every point on the expenditure line, every coordinate. And it's also true of the equilibrium point. So we don't know what equilibrium TPE is, X. We don't know what equilibrium GDP is, X. But we know they have to fit the expenditure line. What expenditure line? The expenditure line that has a slope of what? 0.75. And the expenditure line that has an A of 850. Now we have an equation that we can actually solve. It looks like we can't solve this, but we can. This is one equation with one variable. It looks like we have two variables, but we don't have two unknowns. We don't have two unknowns. We only have one unknown because we're assuming that GDP, because GDP equals T, TPE, we can set them equal to the same variable. So let's go ahead and solve this. This is 1x equals 0.75 x plus 850. This is dollars. We can solve group terms and solve this equation by uh, putting the x's on the left side and leaving the constant over on the right side. So we'll subtract 0.75x from this side. We'll subtract 0.75x from this side. And we're going to get point, let me use black again. Sorry about that. So we have 0.25x equals 850. This essentially cancels. And then we can divide this side by 0.25, which means we have to divide this side by 0.25. 
the 0.25s cancel, x equals 850 divided by 0.25. And guess what? That equals 3400. Okay? So 3400 is what? Equilibrium GDP, equilibrium TPE. So we can go back up to we can go back up to our diagram and we can actually plug in the amounts. I'm going to erase this this question mark. I'm going to erase this question mark because it's no longer a question mark. So this is now what? This is 3,400, and this must be 3,400. Okay. So if we have A, and if we have MPC, we can find equilibrium GDP. Now, what I showed you is the long cut. I can, uh, I can simplify this a little bit, the calculations, and formalize what we, what we need to know. So you'll notice here at the end, let me go back in the writing mode, you notice here at the end that this boiled down to this whole combining those two formulas and solving, this boiled down to 850 over 0.25, but really what is 850 over 0 0.25? 850 is A. And what is 0 0.25? 0 0.25 is MPS. Remember, MPC plus MPS must equal 1. So therefore, 1 minus MPC equals MPS. If we have MPC, 0.75, we have MPS, 0.25. So A divided by MPS, 850 divided by 0.25, gives us equilibrium GDP. Okay, and that's the operative formula. All right, so what we have done is we have identified equilibrium GDP and equilibrium TPE on our expenditure line. We have not only identified them, we've shown, shown you how to calculate them. So graphically, graphically, the way that you find equilibrium is you impose a 45 degree line, a reference line in the space, and where the 45 degree line hits the expenditure line, you will find the equilibrium GDP and TPE. How do you, care, how do you calculate uh, the numbers? Well, you're going to divide A by MPS. Now, this is MPC, but 1 minus MPC gives MPS. All right, well, this concludes the second part in a four-part series on the expenditure line. Now, in parts three and four, we're going to actually use this expenditure line to talk about how changes in spending affect GDP and unemployment. Stay tuned.